Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you my Spider-Man physical media collection, so stick around. So with the recent release of Spider-Man No Way Home um, coming to theaters, I wanted to take time today to show you my entire Spider-Man physical media collection. Um, this will contain Blu-rays, 4Ks, and still books and some store exclusives. So first up, the original Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. Really like the Blu-ray Essentials line that they did for these original films. So we have this particular one with this slip. And then we got a re-release with this slip that they decided to put numbers on. And then we actually got a third release with this um, comic type style slip cover. Not too bad. And then I also have a limited edition still book release with this magnetic lenticular card. And then we have Spider-Man 2, another um, Blu-ray Essentials line. Really like that image there. This is the one that's got Doc Ock in it. And then we got a re-release with this artwork. And we got a nice looking um, slipcover for this edition. I really like the art style on this one also. And then we did actually get a, another lenticular magnetic card for Spider-Man 2, which I got from Zavi. Okay, then we have Spider-Man 3, another one with this Blu-ray Essentials line. Really um, like this one. This is the film that had um, Sandman in it. And I guess um, Venom. And then we got this re-release. Not too bad. Some more images there on the back. And then we got this nice looking art style here. Really like the image there with Venom in the background. And we got a still book release for that one also with a magnetic card. So those were the Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans that I really enjoyed. I thought he did a great job playing Spider-Man. Now after several years they decided to reboot the franchise and call it The Amazing Spider-Man and they got a new person to play Spider-Man named Andrew Garfield. Um, so I was very excited to see what they were going to do with this um, character again with a new actor. And so we did get the Amazing Spider-Man. So, so we have the Amazing Spider-Man with this really nice looking embossed slip cover, which I really like. This right here was a Target exclusive with a bonus disc. And then we also got the 3D version with the lenticular um, slip cover, which I, I really like this one. And of course we got the Best Buy exclusive um, still book. Really nice looking still book. I do like the way that that looks. And then I also have this particular still book from Future Shop with a different artwork on the front. And we got a Walmart exclusive that came with this plastic Spidey case. Not too bad. I really like the way that that looks. And then we got a new slip cover when they re-released the movie. We got this nice looking um, art style here. And then we also got this limited edition gift set here with Spider-Man and the Lizard. Really nice looking details on these particular um, figures. And of course we have Andrew Garfield there. And then Spider-Man on the other side. And then next up we did get a sequel. Um, we have The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And this is the one that features Electro with Jamie Foxx. And this is a um, Best Buy exclusive magnetic collectible case that they were doing for a little while. So I got that. I also got the Target exclusive with this nice looking um, slip cover. And we got the 3D release, which was very similar to the other one. I like the way that that one looks. And then of course we have the re-release of this um, comic style right there. Really like the way that this one looks. 
And we did get another gift set. Um, this one right here was, I was very excited to get this one. Um, it was kind of hard to get during that time, but it is a light up um, head of Electro with, you know, Jamie Foxx's likeness. Um, several years after this right here was released, I did start finding these in the Dollar General, which was kind of odd, but they had it at a really good price. So I know a lot of people picked it up during that time. And then we did get a Best Buy exclusive still book called Spider-Man The Legacy Collection. This right here has all five Spider-Man movies in it. We have this still book here on the front that contained the three Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films. And then we have the um, still book on the back that had the two Amazing Spider-Mans in it. And we also got a 4K collection of those of the same type of um, the same films with with the 4K and a different art style, which I really like this one. And then next up, I'm going to show you my Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse um, sets. I do have the 4K edition here with this nice looking slipcover. And I got the um, PS5 4K Movie Essentials Edition. And we got just a regular Blu-ray release. And we got the Target Exclusive with a mini book. And I did get the UK um, edition of the still book, which I really liked this one. Okay, next up I'm going to show you my Spider-Man Homecoming editions. We have um, the 4K release with this slipcover. Really like that, that art style on this one with Iron Man. And then we had a Target um, Digibook. Very nice. And I got the Spider-Man Homecoming 3D still book with the emblem, um, magnetic emblem inside. And I got the 4K, um, only at Best Buy exclusive still book. And I got another UK edition with just the Blu-ray. And then we got Spider-Man Far From Home. I got the 4K release. Nice looking slipcover. And then I got the PS5 4K Movie Essentials edition. And then we got the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook. And I also got the UK edition Steelbook. With some different artwork. And then lastly we got a 4 movie pack Steelbook that contains Venom, Spider-Man Far From Home, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Which I really like that. I like that they did a still book that had all the movies um, included. So very happy to have that one in my collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you, what you think about this particular collection. Let me know if you have any of these titles in your collection. And maybe which of the Spider-Man movies is your favorite. Do you like the original Tobey Maguire Spider-Man? Do you like the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man? Do you like the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Um, movies and also what do you think about the Tom Holland Spider-Man? I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today Please give it a thumbs up and share the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel I really appreciate it if you would subscribe if you do subscribe Please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook Twitter Instagram and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.